Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, I own the Watershed Wellness Center in Lansing, Michigan. I'm at watershed.net. Um, and um, I really want to thank you for inviting me tonight. Um, I am in the author of several books on uh, natural health. I'm a naturopathic doctor. Uh, I want to talk about this book tonight, my latest book, the one I just came out with, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. Moselle, thanks for having me here tonight. Um, you suggested I read this book, uh, The Secret Life of Plants. Uh, I haven't I haven't finished it yet, so I want to do the whole thing before I actually talk on that. Uh, I've been really busy lately, and uh, but I want to get to it. It's a pretty good book. So um, there's a few others that I recommend. Uh, Chris Beat Cancer. Uh, that's Chris Work. I mean that's a pretty good one. And uh, another one is um, uh, Moritz. Um, Andre, I think it's Andreas uh, Moritz, uh, Cancer is Not a Disease, It's a Healing Mechanism. That's another really good book. Um, but I get right into the meat of, um, by the way, before I forget, uh, Victoria Botenko and her 12 steps to, um, you know, beating the addiction to cook food, whatever. I'm not sure that, uh, the name of that exactly, but, uh, you know, Victoria Botenko. That's a really good book. That'll help you, you know, understand and get away from cooked foods completely. But anyway, um, the reason I wrote this book, um, and I do have some good news about it, but um, I wrote this book because this is can, questions about cancer are the most uh, common questions I ever I have ever gotten through the years. I've gotten more questions about that than almost probably, probably close to 40, 50 percent of, you know, do you know, what do you know about cancer? My friend's got this kind of cancer. Everybody has cancer or they know somebody with cancer. So it's gotten that common and that, uh, you know, that rampant throughout our society. I mean, uh, you know, at the turn of the 19th century, 20th century, at 19 or whatever, uh, ca cancer was still relatively rare. You know, I think uh, maybe one in four people got it, or less than one, what am I saying, 4% uh, of the people got it. Now we're up to 40% of the people. So what's going on here? Well, it's, it all comes down to one thing, your diet. All disease comes from our diet. And I'm going to explain to you in kind of detail here what you need to do to, um, you know, cure your body of, not only of, of cancer but of any disease. I mean, I chose cancer in part because so many people ask questions about it, but also because... Well, you know, it's the most common disease that um, that's out there. The really good news that I wanted to tell you about this book is that it's uh, available in audio version now. So if you go to audible.com and you look at my book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, uh, you'll see it's audible and look up Bob McCauley, ND. Uh, so <clears throat> you'll see it on audible. And you can buy it. It's been doing really well. I've got some good feedback on it. Um, but I want everybody to listen to it. And please, if you do get it, give me a review on that. Let me know how I'm doing. Tell me what you liked and what you don't like. Half of the book and half of what I wrote there and half of what you'll hear if you want to get that one. I know Moselle wanted that really bad. And that was one of the things that kind of spurred me. I said, gosh, i got to get this. i got to do this because I listen to books. So... Um, so I, half of this book is dedicated to uh, telling you why the medical establishment is worthless when it comes to chronic and infectious disease. They're good when it comes to accidents. Uh, they're great when you get, uh, you know, you're bleeding, uh, you, you know, you need physical therapy, uh, you've been in some type of terrible accident. They're fantastic for that. But when it comes to disease, they've never cured any diseases. They put you on medications and it, you, you rarely, if ever, get off of these medications. Sometimes they conflict. They've all got side effects. We know the story. You know, um, and so I, I basically do one thing and one thing only. I follow nature. That's all I do. So it's not anything really that uh, unique, but it's um, or or you know such a great you know breakthrough in in understanding cancer all that. It's just I follow nature. That's all you need to do if you want to be healthy is just follow nature, and I'll, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that um, in just a couple minutes here. So um, because I want to really get into the meat of what you need to do to cure your body of any disease, including cancer. The emperor of all diseases, the most difficult disease. Because again, if you can, if you can beat cancer, if you can survive cancer, if you can get past cancer, which you can, uh, unless you're on your deathbed with stage four, then believe me, uh, you can cure yourself of any disease. Your body can do anything. It's really amazing. I always hear you. Can you get? Can you get rid of diabetes? Yes. Type one diabetes? Well, not type one. Of course, you can get rid of anything if you're determined, and if you follow my health protocol. So let's get into that, um, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you want to do. We're going to start off with something that's called tabla rasa. 
Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to start fasting. Don't eat anything. Stop eating. If you go to the hospital, I guarantee you, what are you going to do? They're going to feed you. They're going to give you food. That's what they do. They always do. And they give you crappy food. I was in a hospital maybe, I don't know, it was a year or two ago. This is the one locally here in Lansing, Sparrow. You know, there's a huge Starbucks in there. And it's filled with cr cr crap to eat and to drink, like every other Starbucks. I mean, it's just garbage. I mean, this is what this is the kind of foods that get you into this position to begin with, where you've got some kind of a disease, and that's why you're at the hospital. So I go into this place, and I'm looking everywhere I looked, you know, that went by the pharmacy. I just I stopped in to look, and, you know, they had all, they had just junk food everywhere you looked. It was just like being in a, whatever, 7-Eleven convenience store, whatever, garbage food. This is what, and this is, so this is what the medical establishment thinks about diet. It doesn't matter. And they have their famous phrase, diet and exercise. Okay, what does that mean? Who knows? So what you want to do is stop eating and drink water. And I promote alkaline ionized water, the best water you can possibly um, drink. Um, I wrote a book called The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. There's nothing better for you than water, and there's no better water than alkaline ionized water. So you start drinking water. Stop eating. You've got cancer. You've got a serious disease, or you want to get rid of it. Okay, and your body can cure itself of any disease, as I said, type 1 diabetes, anything, any disease, your body can overcome it. But, you, you know, once you've got the disease, it's far more difficult than preventing one to begin with. So my whole health protocol is about um, prevention. But once you've got something, it's the same health protocol, but now you've got to do it a lot better and get really going with the program because otherwise you're going to be, you know, in, in a bad way. So... Um, you drink water, you start drinking water, and the first thing I want to do is tabula rasa. I want to get rid of all the, the, the bacteria, the yeast, the mold, the fungus that is certainly living in your digestive tract, probably throughout your body to some degree, and in your blood. Okay, so this is again bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus. We have to get that out of there. Now, the first thing I do, I want to give you bismuth. Um, this is a liquid angstrom bismuth. Uh, bismuth kills bacteria, in particular a really uh, common one called H. pylori. A lot of studies on that. That was what causes stomach ulcer. But believe me, if you've got a stomach ulcer, you have no friendly bacteria down in your gut, and you have no uh, in your unjunk food diet of some, some, some kind, you know, fried food diet of some kind. Fried foods are poison. That's, you just really, really want to avoid fried foods, you know. Um, so... <clears throat> um, you take the bismuth and you swallow that one. It's my liquid, liquid angstrom minerals, but it's the only one that you swallow because we want to kill everything in the digestive tract. Uh, number two, you take my parasite killer blend. This is 13 different powders that will kill bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and fungus. It's got all sorts of different powders in it, and they're just meant for death inside your digestive tract. And uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, take uh, dissolve bioactive silicate. Um, that's a product that I actually own with the, the, the inventor of that product, but it's basically a crystalline form of silicon. So uh, you take that uh, every day, and again, on an empty stomach, if you've already eaten something, don't, don't do this because you're just wasting your money and your time and everything. you just got to have a clear digestive tract. And there's something people just don't do. They keep eating meals and meals and meals. you got to give the body a chance to rest, cleanse, and repair itself, and that, you can only achieve that through water fasting. You can't do juice fasting. That's different. That's just you're still eating when you're fat, eating juices. So there's no juice fast, okay? A juice fast means I'm just going to juice for like a week and then I'll go back to my crappy cooked food diet. So that's not a real fast. A fast, a only fast, a true fast is a water fast. So you got to just drink water. I hi highly recommend you stay mineralized with electro electrolytes in particular, but all your minerals. I sell a full spectrum mineral, but you want to make sure in particular getting magnesium so you, for the heart so you don't have any strain. So... Um, you take the dissolve, you put that in low water, shoot that down. It tastes absolutely terrible, but hey, you've got a serious disease, or at least you want to prevent one. Uh, what dissolve does is it removes biofilm from the body, and it removes um, <clears throat> um, nanobacteria from the arteries. This is bacteria that's one-tenth the size of normal bacteria, and it, uh, it kind of excretes calcium so that kind of grows and grows and grows over many years and it blocks the arteries people think it's plaque and it's not well this kind of creates a surface dissolve so it won't um, stick so it's really really incredible stuff dissolve bioactive silicate um, 
And uh, again, it's available on my website. My website is watershed.net or shop.watershed.net if you want to look at any of these, just review it. If you go to my main uh, web uh, page, watershed.net, and look up kind of on top, it'll say cancer protocol. That's how you can get into all this. Then you can see what I'm talking about, all the different products and everything. But um, the last but not least, you're going to put in silver. Okay, liquid angstrom silver, you're going to take about a teaspoon or a cap full and um, you swallow it. You don't you put, hold it in your mouth under your, don't swallow it. Uh, hold it under, under your tongue and, and um, for as long as possible. It'll go into your body through the sublingual duct and it'll get into the blood. It'll be, uh, the, it, you know, just get everywhere instantly. And that's how I recommend you take all of my um, minerals again except the bismuth that one you want to swallow because we're going to kill everything in the digestive tract so um, but I got a full spectrum mineral blend which is like 26 different um, minerals and minerals are you know they're the keys that start the engine of our health so you got to have those but while you're fasting it's good to do some minerals make sure you're you're well mineralized I mean um, it's very very important um, in fact you'll have all you know uh, Linus Pauling said you know that nothing works without the minerals and uh, and Bernard Jensen said the same thing. He had a book on minerals, so uh, the chemistry of man, or a brilliant book, you know, big, big, thick one. But uh, these are the thing. The, the, these people really knew what they were talking about. Mineralization is key. So, but to do it while you're fasting is much more effect, effective. You're on the road to health now. <clears throat> okay, then after the big long purge here, and, and again, if you got cancer, you didn't get into this position overnight. You're not going to just do this once and just kill everything in your digestive tract. It's going to take a process. You know of all the bad things, and if you're overweight and you're you know you've been eating on a really bad diet for a long time, you've been on a lot of medications. I guarantee you, this is going to take a while. You're going to you're going to go through a tremendous detox, getting in, in a detoxification. And what is why, why do we want to detox? Well, that's what disease lives on. The reason if you, you got cancer or any other disease, you know two things: you know that your body is acidic, and you know that you are toxic. And what is a toxin? A toxin is something that doesn't belong in the body. There are mild toxins and serious toxins, such as heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, all these sorts of things, you know. Um, you know, Teflon, all these things, they accumulate in the body, they accumulate in the flesh, and unless you're actively going out there and removing those, like ionized water will help remove that. You know, raw fruits and vegetables remove that. Cooked foods displace their toxins into the body. It's another reason to get, get, um, get, get away from cooked foods. So, so we're, once we're done with this process, and you again, you may need to repeat. You may, if you can go on like a three-day fast, that's what you want to do. If you, you know, I would recommend you know one to three days to begin with, if you can make it. You know, most people they just kind of have this attitude that oh, I, I just can't do it. Just, just get into it pretty soon. You know, if you can make it to the third day, you won't be hungry anymore. You could maybe even go a little bit longer. But the more you can do this and keep following my protocol and doing this and cleansing everything, believe me. Uh, you'll go. You'll make a lot, a lot of progress doing that. Um, but if you just do it once and then you eat a bunch of cooked foods or you just eat some foods or you just go back to your diet, you know it's one step forward, one step back. You're really not going to get anywhere. So we really need. And again, it depends on your state of health. You know, um, you know the state of health that I'm at. I mean, I could go through this thing and you know, I mean, I would I could just take one session. It would do. It would kill everything because I'm pretty clean to begin with. Um, I don't think I have any bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, fungus throughout my, um, you know, digestive tract that are really, you know, um, giving me problems and are really infectious species um, or, you know, of any of these things. But, you, you know, we've all got them to some degree. And, of course, there's lots of friendly bacteria down there. And, you know, we live in this sea of viruses. Uh, you know, there are... 30 trillion viruses in our bodies, 30 trillion, and there's 60 trillion bacteria in our bodies. So obviously, if we didn't have an immune system, we would succumb immediately. So building the immune system, that's another talking to itself. I could do that sometime. But we're going to have to build that immune system now if you want to be cancer. So, and that's everything I'm suggesting. I've got all sorts of different supplements and foods. I won't get into those because I don't have enough time. But I'm just giving you the basics. So, so once we're done cleansing, and say, I hope you can go a day, but let's say you go 12 hours, and you 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 know you, you stop eating, you're going to have to stop eating for at least three or four hours. I would recommend you get up in the morning and do it, and then don't eat anything for a long time. If you can make it to noon, great, but if you could make it to six o'clock, that's much better. And if you could make it until the next day, that's even better. You get my idea. So then we're going to put in the friendly bacteria, the probiotics. I, I sell this one in, uh, in uh, fermented foods, prebiotics. Um, 
And and um, fermenting food is extremely easy. You just use water and salt. You're right there. You just get use, you know, usually the heavy duty cabbage or something that's a little solid because you don't want it to be too soggy. But um, uh, you know, any kind of fermented food is fantastic, and again, very very easy and very inexpensive to make yourself. Um, it just takes a couple days. Um, so and then a probiotic, the friendly bacteria, and they take that. Now you're repopulating the digestive tract. See. And uh, I knew I had a friend of mine um, had a had an ulcer, uh, stomach ulcer. That's H. pylori, and you know we really didn't change hardly any of their diet. But they took the bismuth, and um, and I gave them silver and made sure they took that as well. And then I gave them the probiotic. And guess what? You know, six months later, no ulcer, no evidence of H. pylori, uh, the bacteria that causes that. So uh, you want to cleanse that then. Um, when you start eating, well, you know, you want to change your protein to spirulina and chlorella. Get away from animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. You know, I haven't eaten meat for 40 years. This month, October, I was in India. I never ate any since. And, um, and I've been a vegan close to 20 years. No meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. So you stay away from those things. Does that mean, you know, maybe I cheated or something? You know, honestly, I, it's kind of not really too appealing to me now but I am a complete dairyaholic meaning it's hard for me to always you know stay away from the, that that stuff so but you got to do that if you want to be healthy this is about your life maybe it's about your health and maybe it's about your life who knows but um, the idea that you can't do this or it won't work or anything is is it definitely will work whether or not you can do it is up to you so um, and I know you can do it anybody who's determined you know I want to get my health back you can do this I know you can I mean, I did it. I'm nobody special. I just did what I'm doing. So, um, you know, when you go back, you're taking spirulina and chlorella, two types of algae, for your protein. They're the most nutritionally dense foods in the world, and they've got the 60% um, uh, protein, and, um, and um, they're vastly superior to any other foods in the world, um, and nothing comes close. So um, that's what you should use for your protein. You take a small handful of tablets, about 10, 8, 10, 12 of them, okay, and take that with every meal. That's all the protein you need for that meal. And then if you want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, it's strictly for the taste. And I've got to tell you something. These are really very, very unhealthy foods. Uh, and it's because of the way you cook them. You, okay, if you ate raw meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, you wouldn't have a problem. Well, when do we do that? Never. You know, you got sushi, okay, you know, anything else, you know, raw meat. No, we, do, we don't eat that, we cook it, you know. And, you know, uh, this is a problem because you're cooking that protein structure and it's becoming a mess. So it really is uh, detrimental on a lot of different levels. Um, so, again, raw, you wouldn't have a problem. Raw meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. So um, get away from that. Take Go to spirulina and chlorella and then start eating raw fruits and vegetables. And that's why you're listening tonight, and that's what this group is all about. And uh, I talked before the Lansing Raw Food Group just, I think, last week. And uh, I love to b bring them this message of, uh, of great health. But it's all about raw fruits and vegetables. If you don't change your diet, it's not going to work, you know, because it, it'll be just one step forward. And you don't have to go 100%, you know, this idea. And going 100%, believe me, is really difficult. You're addicted to cooked foods. You need to realize that. We're, we all are. If you don't think you're ad addicted to cooked foods, try going one day without them. You'll see. It ain't easy. <laughs> okay? Very few people can do that. And, um, and, but, 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 but we're here. I mean, I can do that. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you juice. I eat salads in the evening. I had some fruit today spirulina, with spirulina and chlorella because you want that protein to take in the nutrients. Um, you, um, and then, um, you know, um, for dinner, again, it's a salad. I do a lot of juicing. I love doing that. But it's about great health. Let me tell you something. That's, it's got to be about the diet. Um, so then, again, the probiotics, the prebiotics, we discussed that. And then uh, the minerals, we discussed that. So you've got to stay mineralized, take minerals every single day. I like the liquid angstrom. Angstrom refers to the size, the atomic size. I cured myself from meningitis, or my body did, with silver. I mean, it saved my life in the end. Um, I, I had it for 10 days. I didn't know I had meningitis. I thought I'd been poisoned. I, uh, I got through it without anything, including silver. And then I went traveling a couple months later, and it came back, and it was really bad. And... Um, and I had a little bit of silver, and I said, I wonder if this could, uh, I just brought some for my wife because she had a cold. I wonder if this will work. I took it. I took about a teaspoon, 
I mean, within almost instantly, I felt better. And within a couple hours, it was go it was reversing itself. And I documented that, and that's in a book called Silver, the Miracle Mineral, the End of Infectious Disease. So, um, you know, it just shows you the power of silver. So this is how you deal, by the way. You want to build your immune system when you have an infectious disease, like this crazy thing going around for years. I don't even want to mention it. Um, clear your blood and hit it with silver, and uh, you'll be amazed. But you gotta you got to build the immune system, and that's, as I said, for another talk. Vigorous daily exercise, that is a must. You know, I came home tonight and I worked out. I did uh, 3.5 miles in 20 minutes on my elliptical. Sometimes I go out and run. I like the elliptical because I'm getting uh, movement all at once on all my, all my, um, um, you know, every area of my body. And then I'm working all the muscles. There's 615 muscles. I try to work out every one every day. I do, you know, so it's 25 minutes of, you know, heavy weight lifting, 25 minutes total with the with the running and the, so 20 minute run and then five minutes of weights and uh, you know sit ups and stuff like that and then I'm done. 25, 30 minutes at the most. You don't want to go any further than that because you're just uh, building up too many free radicals and too much acidity in the body. So I've never done a mar marathon. I still run a six-minute mile, and I'm 64 years old, but I've never done a marathon because you don't need to. I want that. I, I, I exercise for health, but I make sure I do it every single day. So, you know, I like running. Swimming is great. Anything you can do to get out there, if it's power walking. If it's walking, don't go walking. Power walk. You've got to really be breathing. You've got to get that cardiovascular. Um, you know, in uh, at least 15 minutes you want to do. And if that's if if that's you cardiovascular breathing and breathing when you're walking, then that, that's that's where you are. Keep going, and and you're going to go faster and faster as you keep going. But you, you know, this will all snowball in a good way eventually. Um, and uh, you know, there's a, other things I could mention. The far infrared sun, I always like to mention that because if you do have cancer, that's an incredibly incredible easy way to detoxify. But you got to get these things that don't belong in the body out of the body. Um, and then last but not least, um, you know, this book is very, very godly. Uh, the, the, the talk here tonight said uh, God's way or God's path. So I wrote a book called God's Path of Disease-Free Living, what the scriptures tell, tell us about health. Well, this is the temple of God. This is your body, okay? That's what Jesus said in John uh, 21. He said, uh, destroy this temple, I'll rebuild it in three days. And he was in the temple he was referring to was his body. So... Um, this is your temple. This is my temple. We 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 look what we do to it. Um, we you know I always tell people if you walked into your church and there was trash all over the front and the altar and the sanctuary or whatever you have, you'd run and get everybody immediately and you'd say we got to clear this up. We got to let's go and it would be a panic. I mean, look what happened. Who how did this? Is, this is what you're doing to your temple every time you eat. Um, you know Doritos and soft drinks and donuts and you know fried foods and all this garbage i mean it tastes good i know what tastes good you don't need to tell me but when when you do that this is what happens to you you the result is always one thing it's disease all disease comes from your diet you don't inherit that from anywhere but you got to honor the temple that god gave you and um and i really talk a lot about god in this book um not so much in a spiritual way but i make the point that you know Look, uh, the medical establishment and along with the entire scientific community uh, have, have really become very atheistic. They, they leave God out of the question, and if, and if some scientist or somebody has a belief in God, well, that's just it. That's your belief, okay? Who cares? Just keep it out of my formulas because it doesn't prove anything. So they're very atheistic, and they really don't want to believe that God is responsible for everything, and that's why they don't follow nature. I mean, you read in my book, one of them told me, you know, like, you won't find any evidence of chronic disease in the wild. Well, I told it to these two top uh, cancer researchers, and they just rejected it. They said, no, that's not true. No. We just, you didn't, you, they would die out in the middle of nowhere, you'd never find it. I mean, I'm like, what? They're both from Brooklyn. You know, they're, they're in their 70s. They're from Brooklyn. There's not too much hunting in Brooklyn, okay? I used to live in New York, so we have a lot of hunting out there. So this is the kind of attitude. I mean, he just rejected what I said. I also told him a, a tumor was, you know, way the body was trying to surround itself so it, the, it, you know, whatever poison or cancer was in there wouldn't spread in the body, and they just say, we're not quite there yet. So this is the way they look at it, and I just follow nature. So um, at any rate, I'll just mention it one more time, and then I'll let you guys get on with your evenings. Um, and I do appreciate the time talking tonight. Um, it's the cure in the mirror, nature's protocol for surviving cancer. Okay, that is me on the front looking into the mirror and everything else. 
and that's the back and you can get it on audible.com and uh, I'll put that link in the description below and um, or however you want to play that so uh, if you play it off the YouTube or whatever my YouTube is watershed 11 and um, and I'll tell you I've been doing this a long time this is my best book I've written other books uh, achieving great health is one and uh, the silver book um, and of course uh, the silver the miracle mineral and uh, you know God's path to disease free living uh, which was originally T titled uh, honoring the temple of God so but this is your temple I was just trying to reach Christians and other people of other faiths to say look 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 at what you've done to yourself you do this to yourself by eating um, the wrong foods and the result is always the same disease so then you got to follow nature if you really want to be healthy if you want to follow your doctor good luck um, nature never fails doctors uh, it's hit or miss Dr. Bob McCauley okay it's watershed.net I'm up in Lansing, Michigan. I do consultations. Um, I do half-hour, hour consultations. I can do them on the phone, or I can. Uh, uh, you can come run up to the um, uh, to Lansing and see us um, out by the airport, not far from there, just west of that. And um, I do appreciate you having me tonight. And stay raw. It's the law. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for having me.